This is my next trap for tethering. You can buy these at the fair, they're around about £15-ish. I have a swivel on there and I've got another swivel just off it. You can buy the swivels at the horse fairs or a hardware dealer. You can buy the good swivels. Um, them's about £4 each or so. I've got a small piece of chain which is on a swivel again. I hook that under the bridle under there. So if the next strap ever snapped, he's still on the helter. If the helter for some reason came off, I've still got him on the next strap, which we're supposed to have one anyway. Here we have the next strap. We've got the helter on, we've got a nice big swivel on there. We have a nice chain, good strong chain. Follow the chain along. There's another swivel on the far end. And if you notice the pin itself, the pin can swivel around as well as. So that's an extra one again. If you're grazing anywhere in the, in the country, uh, Make sure you, you use a chain and it's better for the horse. If it's never ever been on the tether and you want to learn it to go on the tether, put your halter on, put your neck strap on, make sure the horse is familiar with it. It's like putting a new pair of shoes on, if they don't fit, it's not right. If it's too tight, don't let it come over its head. Make sure it's, it fits nice around its neck. I think these are good points here. When, we're, when we tether, we'll not tether too close to the fence. The natural instinct for a horse for food, what they call footing on, and he's dragging in the wire fence, then he ends up, he's stuck to the wire fence. You know, we'll see, we've got, a, we've got a horse here, it's been on the tether too long, he should have shifted it, you know. This picture here to me, there's no swivels, you, you, you've got a halter on, you've got a neck strap on, he's got no swivels on here, you must have swivels. You don't want the horse to panic, at the end of the day, you've got to educate your horse, as well as yourselves.